Welcome to the CEC2 fitting instruction video. We'll take you through each step of the fitting process and explain how to send us your individual size details. We recommend that you write down all of your size information on our worksheet as you make each decision. This provides you with a hard copy for your reference. In order to complete your fitting, you will need your set of six sizing carriers, a tape measure, and your size worksheet. The first step is to choose the proper base size. You'll do this by trying on different sizes until you find the one that fits your upper body best. Once you've selected your base size, insert your concealable carrier with body armor, attach the shoulders, and close the lining zipper or tabs. The cummerbund measurement. The following images will demonstrate what it looks like when the cummerbund is too big, too small, and just right. The cummerbund measurement should ideally have 6 to 9 inches of overlap at the center of the body, depending on the base size. Measurement C, back width. The following images will demonstrate what it looks like when the back width is too big, too small, and just right. The correct fit for the back width is to make sure that the Velcro panel aligns with the front center of the carrier. Measurement A, front width. The following images will demonstrate what it looks like when the front width is too big, too small, and just right. The correct fit for the front width is to ensure that you have enough surplus fabric to securely tuck in between the cummerbund and the back panels. Measurements B and D, front and back length. The following images will demonstrate what it looks like when the carrier length is too big, too small, and just right. There are two parts to selecting the best length for your carrier. One is essential and the other is optional. The first priority is to size your carrier so that your body armor fits correctly inside. After you've made sure there is plenty of room in the carrier for your body armor, if you still have exposed shirt material between the carrier and your waistband, you can cover this area by increasing the front or back length accordingly. Back Elastic Measurement The following images will demonstrate the procedure for making adjustments to this piece. The back elastic is a separate optional piece. The best fit is based on personal preference only. Once you are ready to start taking measurements, be sure to record them using the worksheet we've provided. There are three options for sending us your individual size adjustments. Option number one would be to complete our online individual size form. If this is not convenient, you may also email or fax your completed worksheet. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to call us. Thanks for watching.